captivating, phenomenal, charismatic. An iconic household name, Angela Bassett is a force to be reckoned with. Bassett's story is one that many may not be familiar with or even know of. Yet, it's a story filled with determination and grit. Growing up with a single parent and graduating from Yale University to her breakthrough into the film industry, Angela Bassett's life embodies struggles and success. My name is Ayumido Shivanjo, and I'm here to speak to you about Angela Bassett. Who is Angela Bassett? What is her story? Born in Harlem neighborhood in New York City, August 16, 1958, she was raised by her mother along with her sister. They actually moved to St. Petersburg, Florida, and her mother was a social worker in a housing project. Bassett's inspiration came one day when she was 15 years old and she was taken on a trip to Washington, D.C to a Kennedy production of, of Mice and Men, where she was moved by an illustrious black thespian Jane, named James Earl Jones. I just sat there after the play, boo-hoo crying, weeping. I couldn't move. And I remember thinking, my gosh, I, could, I wish I could make somebody feel the way I feel just now. Bassett recalls to Barbara Jones of Premiere, Bassett told her mother of her newfound interest. And of course, during that time, a young black woman raising two kids on her own, her mother's response was, you're going to be an actress? Not in this lifetime. What black actresses do we have? That didn't stop her. That actually encouraged her to enter the world of stage plays and started concentrating and building on her craft. With the encouragement of her mother, who always taught her kids that hard work and education was the way to go. She applied and gained entrance into Yale University. She was later inspired by her teacher, Lloyd Richards, who was the head of the drama department in the school. And actually he told her to apply to the drama school because he really felt that she had a talent and was, she was going to be a star. The renowned stage director, Lord Richards, was one of the first people who saw that talent, who saw that light in her. Bassett was casted in the Broadway production of Two August Wilson Plays and Joel Turner's Come and Gone. And despite her early success, she had to work hard through the stereotypical roles usually assigned to African American women on screen. During movie casting, Bassett auditioned. She even got uh, callbacks, but she never got the role. She noticed the obstacles of casting directors' inability to fly peripheral characters to LA because that's where most of the production was being done. During that time, she fe featured in TV shows like Guide and Life, The Cosby Show, and stage plays like My Rain is Black Bottom, for example, which exposed her to up and coming directors and filmmakers. After Bassett moved to LA, she got a chance to actually grow and be in movies and miniseries that exposed her. Her performance in Boys in the Hood brought her some real attention. She played a sophisticated mother of the film's young protagonist, Trey. With the likes of Larry Fishburne as a fan who insisted on working with her, she landed a role that changed her life. Quote, she's a bad mother. Fishburne is playing to premiere, Angel B is all that in a Sunday's paper. Bassett's breakthrough film and most famous role was 1993 biopic of Tina Turner named What's Love Got to Do With It, where she played Tina Turner alongside Lawrence Fishburne as I Turner, which won, won her, earned her a Golden Globe Award, an Oscar nomination, and other nominations. This is a picture from the stand of what's love got to do with it, where her and her husband are time. Bassett told Deborah Gregory of Essence, I had a dialect coach, a singing coach, a choreographer, a person training for 30 days before filming began. I lifted weights for two hours for six days a week and went on a high protein, no sweet diet to get Tina Turner's incredibly masculine physique. She attacked every role she did for like, which, like how she played for West Love. 
Her career best says during her interview with Emmy Sainer of The Guardian has always been about what inspires me to grow, to learn, the message. What are you saying as opposed to what are they paying? It's often what inspires me. Bess's road to success was always about living her dream, being better, giving the best she can. Angela Bassett is known as a versatile performer. She becomes who she's playing. At the time when women and African Americans in Hollywood struggled to find interesting, well-written roles, Bassett emerged as a powerful, technically accomplished performer in such a highly regarded film such as Boys in the Hood, Wayne Sexel, and several others. 